In this video, we will see how to do hypothesis testing using JumpPro. We will do two type of hypothesis tests. We'll do a hypothesis test about a population mean, and we will do a hypothesis test about a population proportion. Within that, we will do two kind of tests as well. For the first one, we will use the summary information given to us about the sample and our conjecture about the population. And in the second one, we will use and a raw data set, and then see how we can do um, this test and jump. Now, either of these methods can be used for either of the tests. So we'll just look at two different ways of doing two different kind of tests. Uh, so if you have raw data for uh, testing around the population mean, you would follow the process we will do in the second uh, part of the video. If you have summary stats for test and run proportions, you would follow what we do in the first part of the video, but you will choose the appropriate tests. So uh, let's start with the first. In this um, problem, we are figuring out if it is cheaper to eat uh, a fancy meal at home or to eat it in a restaurant. And um, suppose a sample was done of 100 neighborhood restaurants, and it showed that the average price of a comparable meal in a restaurant was $12.75 with standard deviation of two. Whereas if you were to buy these ingredients at home, um, they would cost $13.04. So our question is to see if eating uh, in a restaurant is cheaper than preparing the same food at home. And to do this, we will be doing a left tail test. Our null will be that a restaurant meal uh, costs as much or more than the cost of making the meal at home. And our alternative is um, that it is cheaper to eat in a restaurant. So let's use these data points to formulate our test and jump. Now, before we can do hypothesis test, we have to come up with the T stat. Our T stat is our sample mean, which is the mean price of uh, restaurants, subtracting from it the average grocery store purchase price of those ingredients, and then divided by the standard error of the mean, which is given by the standard deviation, and the square root of the sample size. So if you open up jump, here we go to the add-in that we've been working with. This is the statistics calculator, and we look at uh, hypothesis test for one mean. We open this up, and here we'll be using summary stats. So I'm going to click on summary stats in instead of raw data. And then this dialog pops up, which asks us if we're doing a T or a Z test. We do not know the population standard deviation. We will do the T test. The next dialog box is the type of alternative hypothesis. Uh, we established that we're doing a left tail test. So we will choose the left tail. Population mean is less than the hypothesized mean. And then here we'll fill in the data. Our hypothesized mean value is 13.04. Our sample average of restaurant meals is 12.75. And our sample standard deviation is 2. And our sample size is 100. And then let's do the test at a 5% um, significance level. So our alpha is 0 0.05. And once we click this, it gives us that our T statistic is minus 1.45. And the critical value at 95% confidence interval or alpha of 0 0.05 for a left tail test is minus 1.606. Um, and then at this, our observed sign our p value is 0 0.075, and which is greater than 0 0.05. So in this case, we will fail to reject the null hypothesis that the average price in a restaurant is at least as much as what it costs to make that comparable meal at home. So this is the test about a population mean. Now, next, we will look at the test around a population proportion. Uh, this is the problem where we are given what is the average uh, percentage of people who are living in the state of their birth. And we have data for 
Arkansas. We have to see that the Arkansas value, whether it's different or same as the national average. So here we have a sample of 120 residents from Arkansas. And the hypothesized population proportion is that roughly 57.7% of people live in the state of their birth. Uh, so here we will look at what average we have for Arkansas, and we will see if the Arkansas average is different than the national average. So because we have the raw data, we can just open the data file here, um, and we go to the add-in, again, statistics calculator, here we're doing a hypothesis test for one proportion. I'm going to click on that. Um, and now we have the raw data. So we'll let the selection be raw data. We click on OK. Uh, what column? It is the Arkansas column that we want. And then next we tell Jump what is our measure of success. Our value of success is yes. So I'll just type yes in here. Um, we click OK. And here, Again, are we doing a two-tail test, a left-tail test, or a right-tail test? In this particular example, we're doing a two-tail test, so we will choose the default. And then our hypothesized value is 57.7% or 0 0.577. And again, our alpha level is 0 0.05. So when we do that, our Z score or Z stat is 0 0.8803. And the Z critical value is 1.96. So this is less than the critical value. So we do not reject the null. And our observed p-value is 0.37. So there's a 37% chance that our sample is coming from the population uh, for which the hypothesized null is correct. So we fail to reject the null again. Again, uh, these tests are interchangeable. If we had the raw, uh, if we had sample statistics, we would have chosen that option, and we would have proceeded the same way for this test. Um, similarly, for the first one, if we had uh, the sample, we would have clicked on the raw data, and then we would have proceeded just the way we proceeded for this test. So this wraps up uh, how to conduct hypothesis tests around a population mean and hypothesis tests around the population proportion in JUMP.